Hey, what's up guys? Jade here. Uh, so today, you know, I've noticed some people are complaining about um, having issues with Guild Wars and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm one of them. I'm not always perfect, uh, but, you know, so I decided to make a video on practicing how to, uh, how to hit higher targets in Guild Wars. So a lot of times people, they just go raid over and over and over, and a lot of times with that is you don't get really the hardest opponents that you're trying to face in Guild Wars. So it's not really a good test to see if your method is working. So, you know, unfortunately, you have to either spend a lot of gems um, with your heroes respawning or just put a bunch of time in between. You know, I think now it's about 10 minutes for a respawn time with each hero. But uh, this is how I go about doing it. Basically, I go to these higher pages, um, the higher ranks, and look for guys that are open to be attacked. And, uh, you know, sometimes I can get two or three off, sometimes four or five. Other times I hit one hard target and uh, all my heroes die. So watch this hard attack against uh, Navarth. It's one of my early attacks. You know, here I am testing a new Guild War strategy with Minnow, Lil Nick, uh, PD, Cupid, and then a tree to bring him back uh, just in case um, they die. Also DD in there to clear up. So this first uh, attack goes pretty well. Um, obviously it could be luck in there. Uh, for Guild War, you basically want to be 100% no matter what after you get that 50%. And anytime when you're with Minnow or PD, it's really easy to go over that 50%. So uh, make sure you're watching closely and don't commit unless you're gonna get the 100%. So this next attack here is against uh, Ed Wee. Uh, which he's a pretty high uh, might player, which uh, normally when you're pretty high might means you put money in the game and your heroes are pretty good. Uh, so notice something on his base. Um, you'll see troops there, and uh, this strategy still can work with troops, but you have to make sure to clear them all out. And uh, you have to make sure you're hitting all the troops, not just buildings the whole time with Lil, Lil Nick. So um, here's my attempt at it. You know, in reality, if I was doing Guild Wars, I probably would have backed out you know, when I saw all the troops weren't dead and he was heading in. This is how things can go quick, quickly wrong uh, when you're practicing for Guild War. So uh, make sure not to go over. And uh, obviously these are my first few attempts, so things aren't going as planned. Also note, um, Little Nick isn't maxed in uh, any of these videos, but I started this about a week ago, uh, taking little clips of me as hacking her up, and since then, Little Nick is uh, no longer 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10. He's a little bit higher, so towards the end you'll see more success with uh, Little Nick being higher. So without further ado, uh, here are a few of my fails, which I'm sure you guys will all really enjoy.
So enough of my fails. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show some of the ones where I barely was successful, and then show some other ones where it seemed like it was really easy to hit some of these top guys. And uh, you know, throughout the course of uh, Little Nick getting better and me leveling my heroes, it's gotten easier and easier. Uh, but anyway, this is what I suggest for practicing for Guild Wars. Seems like it's made it a lot easier for me where I just go in, practice against these guys, and come out feeling um, more prepared for the next Guild War. So uh, my conclusion on all this is that uh, you know this method isn't quite ready for Guild Wars. You can see I've, I've still had some fails. Um, you know it's getting better. I think once Lil Nick is max and I, I kind of work out the quirks, I will be able to use this method because uh, as long as I exit before Minnow gets his proc off 
or before Lil Nick uh, has a buffed proc, I should be able to exit in time. So as long as I'm careful, I should be able to exit in time. Anyway, I hope you guys use this method for practicing for your Guild Wars, and uh, make sure to have fun out there, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.